finally we have Ananta. Now, people assume in Buddhism that they believe in reincarnation, and they do believe in reincarnation, but not in the way that Hinduism does. You don't have your own soul that then is passed on. So if I die, my Mrs. Greenwood soul will not fly into the air and then go into a dog or a cat or a horse or some other poor human and I am reborn. That's not how it happens. Everyone has an energy. Everybody has an energy about them, okay? And when you die, your energy goes into a big pot and then it's redistributed to anyone. So there isn't a specific human soul, there is a human kind soul. So it's a bit like this, okay? So we got, can we see that? Bob, Sue and Rita, or Bob and Sue and Rita too, okay? And this goes into a big pot when they die of energy. Then, out of it comes somebody else's energy. So it might be Mohammed, it might be Sarah, it might be Jim, it could be Jan, okay? And they've got parts of Bob, Sue and Rita too, but generally they're sort of their own unique person. Now this might be why some people feel that they remember a past life because maybe an extra big bit of Bob or an extra big bit of Sue or an extra big bit of Rita um, came down into them. But generally, your soul in Buddhism is actually made up of lots of other past experiences of lots and lots of people. So it's not egotistical. There isn't one person, but actually you need to think of yourself as part of all of humankind and any good action you do will benefit in the future all of humankind and that is how Buddhism works.